Welcome to lesson 9. In this lesson we are going to start creating some very specific parts that we used in our first tech robot. So I think that you guys will enjoy seeing how we created some of these stuff. So let's begin by pressing Control N. Okay, so we've got Control N going, that means we're going to create a new file, create body, create sketch. XY plane, okie dokie, there we are. Now we are on the XY plane. So the first thing that we are going to create is what we call uh, wire guides. That's things that we put wires through so that uh, the wires don't get tangled up during a competition. <coughs> so let's start with a circle. So we start with a circle here and I'm going to create it on the origin point like there. And I think it will be a little bit big, so let's go for that one on the origin point. I'm going to use, at this moment, I'm going to use diameter constraint, so 30. I think it may be a little bit big, so let's go down to 20. I'll, yeah, I'll take it down to 20, the same size that we used during the competition, 20. Now it will show you that, that shows you that's diameter, it's not radius anymore from side to side diameter and I'm going to put it like that for now and then inside this we are going to create another circle uh, let's do this and I think we'll do it like this and then we'll use a diameter for that also and let's set the diameter 10.6 okay I'm going to have it at 12 millimeters diameter. Make a four fairly big hole in the middle of this thing. So we've got that 12 millimeter diameter hole. Now we need to create something different because obviously you cannot just put a circle on. We need some way to fasten it to the um, metal parts of the robot. So let's use, let's see, we can, we can do it in a few different ways, but let's use the polyline tool and I'm going to draw a line from there up to about there and then down like that I don't want it too big so let's make it like that and we'll click on there right that's what we need at the moment so I am going to let's see I'm going to fix this point that point and we will just constrain it um three yeah well we can constrain it ah i don't think i want to constrain it like that so let's first do this because i want the specific width for this thing seven mil is way too wide for that so i'm going to go down to four mil that would be better four millimeters and now we can start constraining this thing let's do this I want the distance from the horizontal plane for both the same. So let's do the height constraint 2.4. Um, I think we go down to 2 there. And there we go. 2 there. And we're going to do the same. Let's see this one. And we're going to do the same to that one just to make sure that it's okay. You see it's over constraining now so I just want to make sure that it's the same so let's not do that okay so we've got that one four millimeters we've got one degree of freedom left that means I need to set this thing to a distance let's see 12 I want it 15 um, that is the width of the um, extrusions that we use 15 millimeters and it's four millimeters and this thing is fully constrained now so let's have a look at what it what it looked like it's fully constrained but it will have a problem so let's go back to the sketch, sketch quickly the problem that we'll have is that line there that is axis geometry we don't need it so we're going to have to get rid of it i'm going to use the trim edge tool and get rid of that thing now we are in business so now we can pad it Okay, so let's pad this thing. Um, it's going to look like that. Yeah, I think we can work with that padding. 
it's possible so next in line from the center point so this is 15 millimeters so what we do is we want this thing to overextend a little bit on the extrusion so we're going to create our holes a little like a little bit to the edge of this thing okay so let's let's go okay first and we'll create that and we create a new sketch on that plane so there we go we're going to create a new sketch on that plane next what are we going to do at this moment this thing's got like 14 millimeters i think so i want to create a hole roughly about there this is for the nuts uh, the bolts and nuts that we're going to put in so i'm going to move it a little bit up now our bolts and nuts is roughly about three millimeters in size so let's do it like this i want two of them like that so first of all i'm going to say from this point to that point we need a constraint 19.4 let's make it a flat 19 for now that should be suffice and we are going to have to do the same for this one and we can create it at a flat 19 that should be just fine for us that means we have five millimeters open from this edge to where the holes are roughly uh, from the center to that edge okay so we've got that one also now we want to set we set the vertical now let's say the horizontal um, positions for this okay 2.8 let's make it to comma five move it a little bit down that should make it fine and this is 10 so is this 2.5 and that's 2,5 then the distance between this one and this one should be 5 millimeters so let's set the distance between those two at 5 enter so that gives us real nice geometry and then the size of this little guy would be 3 we're going straight for 3 in diameter okay, there we go so we've got this thing set up now that looks fine so um, what do we miss uh, that I said the, this one and this one need to be equal here we go now we are set up to get the hole through that thing so let's close this this the, and we are going to pocket it just straight through pocket it uh, it's four millimeters so the hole should be going straight through anyway we can turn this thing a little bit and see yep. the hole goes straight through and we're going back there now that looks good but that's not quite what I want I want this side because of the way the wires move I want these things to flare open a little bit else it's going to not work the way that I want to so let's let's say okay on this one and then I'm going to click on this circle here the inside circle there I'm going to click on it and I'm going to use the fillet tool so I'm going to fillet it and I'm going to set it to like three millimeters fillet that side and I'm going to the bottom part of this thing okay let's set okay first for that one now on the bottom part we're going to do the same thing I'm going to fillet it with three millimeters and I'm going to set okay now on both sides it's going to look the same so let's go back to our you can see there it's going straight through it's flaring up so the wires cannot get stuck on the edges that's the main idea why we do this and this is how i created the guides for the wires on our robots so let's go file save as i think we'll, we'll do it just like that lesson nine wire guides like that 